Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play with the Keeper's Inc. So today I have something special. And hopefully all this is going through well. I've adjusted my camera settings so hopefully that's a bit more better for people. I did have one person tell me my camera is a little speckly. Well, that's because of the green screen at the back and the chroma key I'm using. And now I've got that out of the way. I'm uh, pleased to tell you that uh, I have, in fact, managed to get quite far uh, in my efforts while I've not been recording. Um, although that not that far that uh, I progressed loads off camera. So what I've actually done is I've managed to create a forge hammer, which was done uh, there. And you can see it's up there on my wall. I've got some tool racks now. Um, I did create uh, the wood, which is in here. No, where did I put it? Oh, there's the creosol. Uh, ah, there it is, treaty wood. So I created all those treaty wood uh, planks, and all that was is. Wait, no, that's use is eight planks surrounded by a bottle of creosol or a bucket of creosol or a tube basically a container containing creosol uh, out here I do have my coke oven you can also see I've put some windows in and up here yes it does say dark's bed and angel's bed that's because well the wife has been playing with us in fact she actually made a rather important discovery which we'll get to shortly. So, um, my coke oven's doing quite well, as you can see. I need to keep that going. I'm actually almost out of coal, which is quite good, because, you know, we've got two stacks of coal, coke, which is great, you know. So, my apple trees are doing rather well, as you can see there. Lots of apples on them. Uh, let's see what else we've we been up to. Oh yes, yeah, speaking of apples and trees and food, uh, I have a food box here, to which all my food is now contained. Uh, and as you can see, and two beds, as you can see. Uh, let's go outside and see what's going on here. So first of all, I did manage to get some obsidian. That was in episode three or four. I came across lava, poured water over it, got obsidian, and that was the reason for me creating this wonderful thing here. And you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, these are both the same. Well, yeah, because I created one for my missus. So, aside from the luck, I, I've got them both on me because, hey, why not? Uh, so, all I need now is a flint and steel to light this puppy, and I'll be away into the nether. Unfortunately, flint and steels are not that easy to make. No, you actually need a steel ingot and some flint. You know, with it being called a flint and steel, you would you would think such a thing. Yeah. So anyway, um, I managed to uh, find a village. Yes, we found one of those. And in it was uh, one of these guys. I actually created a lot of the blocks myself, which is why it's so big. Um, actually, we can take all this out of here now because we actually already had the forge hammer up here, and I don't want to accidentally create a second one. So um, I created a uh, uh, the the controller, the drains, and the uh, tank and I create a whole bunch of bricks to go around it. Uh, let's see, around here I use some of that lovely obsidian to create these uh, open blocks tanks which eventually will actually be replaced by something else and I'll have creosol in something else because you know these are not the best things con to contain it. Um, but I actually have tons of creosol now so way more than I'm going to use. And of course once this fills up with another bucket full this won't actually keep cooking because it got nowhere to put the creosol. So I'll probably have to go down in the nether or go down to my 
little place and get some more of this. Anyway, the uh, the mine hasn't really progressed very much. Um, in fact, it actually got blocked up because I think I actually sealed the missus down here. Yep. So that was a bit of a trick to play on her, but never mind. So one of the things I uh, I actually did was is I went off and explored. And I went and explored quite a way. Uh, we have tons of these cradle uh, ca um, candle um, crops, by the way. Uh, yeah, so I went off and explored, and uh, as you can see, I went east. I went east a lot. Then I decided to go south some. I found a volcano. And a meteorite. Yep. And then I went south some more, and east some more. And then I decided to go up north. And I carried on up north. I found a second meteorite site. This is not actually a village. These are two of those wonderful, um, horrible, nasty Thorncraft things. So yeah, um, there's that. Uh, let's see. I carried on up north, and have and behold, I came across a village. Now bear in mind, I did tweak the villages in the beginning so that they were a um, hundred apart instead of the default 16 or default 32. I forget what it is, but anyway, it was tweaked to make it much further apart. I didn't want to be easy find. So yeah, that took me quite a while. Uh, my good lady, on the other hand, uh, went off exploring up here. I did not follow her, uh, at least not directly anyway. Um, she went up here, and she went and found a witch's house. And then finally, she found a desert. Uh, and I do believe we have the temple. There we go. Temple discovered by Angel. Yes, so um, she discovered this here, and inside here is a temple. And I'm actually going to break my, my, my rule and actually going to teleport to this, because I actually want to show you guys what we found inside. So, just let this load up a little bit. Yep, okay. So, we're not going to go down there. We're, we're going to go in here, because all the way down there was the trap door where if you jump down the center the obvious blue um, wool which is there um, you set off 9 TNT after stepping on the pressure plate and it's pretty much no fuse time you cannot get back out you're pretty much dead and unfortunately your grave gets killed as well from what I saw because yeah when I jumped on it accidentally the first time whoops um, my uh, my grave was nowhere to be seen, so yeah, that's that's kind of a thing. Um, I may have uh, recovered my inventory a different way <coughs> um, because I didn't want to lose all that stuff, and that was kind of a dumb mistake for me to make, considering I knew the trap was there. So I won't say I cheated, but um, I did recover my inventory. I felt I was cheated, so. Yeah, so we got all of that stuff there, um, including some some far, safari nets. Even though they're single use, that's kind of cool. Um, blue wool, dynamite, or TNT. And that's kind of cool. So we got all of that, and as you can see, the stuff is down here. There was basically a chest there, one there, one there, and one behind that block there. And that was pretty much it. So I'm just going to get up there now. Yeah. So. I'm going to break that lovely rule again and actually just bounce over to the village. I
and it seems like the villagers have friends. Did this guy really get trapped in there? Okay, well, I'll be shoved if you're coming back out, mate. Just ain't gonna happen. Perfect. Okay, he can stay in there. And I do believe, if I'm right, which I... I'm not always right. There should be, should be one guy in here. Yep. Hello there. Yeah, you're not having your door back. And we have. Ooh, we actually have another door there. We really need to remove that. Okay. By the way, the reason I remove all the doors is because, well, you know, the doors and the villagers love to open, close them. One of their favourite things to do. So inside here we got two little villagers. And they're probably breeding like good ones right now. Never mind. Another one there. Ah, the guard that was continuously shooting me earlier. I saved a villager and kind of caught him with my axe. Or sword. Which, by the way, is really cool. It does, like, plus 17 damage. Yeah. It's because it's got loads of quartz on it, making it really sharp. And there's the bookshelf. And a cow. I have a thing about killing cows, by the way, guys. Uh, and I can't seem to do any of that. Let's have a look. What else can I get rid of? Uh, brains. Okay. Yeah, there is some horses there. Uh, there is some... Uh, Gardens down here with some free wood. Yay. And I do believe in here. Nope, not in there. Where the hell did I put them? Okay, well in one of these sh one of these little houses here there is a whole bunch of books. I think it's over there. You can hear them. There it is. So there's the item frame. Um a whole bunch of books in here. Uh, oh I should probably show you. Yeah, just just those there. Okay. And in here we have a Mythcraft room. Which used to be one of my favourite mods, but lately I've had trouble getting into it. Mainly because it's so damn difficult. But, you know. And over here, which I actually haven't been into, there is another room. Another... house. should probably try and get myself up there at some point, but I can't at the moment, so we'll leave that be. Um, but however, in here... no. Oh. Well, inside one of these rooms, and I think it's the one over here. Ah, yes, here they are. 20 wheat for an emerald. You know what? I think I'm actually going to take advantage of that. 20 wheat for an emerald sounds really good. Especially when I don't have to pay for the wheat. Ah. Um, I should probably just put down a chest here. Oops. Oops. Okay. Maybe that wasn't the best deal ever, but... Considering it's free, I don't see any reason not to. That will get us an emerald. If I go over here, there should be some more wheat. So, 
This this seems like a free emerald right now. I should use this because This gives me uh, somewhat better results, apparently. And if I right click, it just replaces them all, which is great. Because it saves me having to manually replant them all. There we go, 38. Damn, I need two more. Alright, let's go down to the cave one over here. There should be some more. Oh yes, lots more. Now at one point I did actually have a uh, have a nice system going on my other map for uh, for breeding villagers and getting them to sell me lots of good stuff. Unfortunately, uh, one little zombie in there can really change the tune on that. So I uh, tend not to uh, not to bother now. Excellent. We got three emeralds out of that. That's pretty nice. Oh, crap. Okay, so that's my village um, that I found. The only village that I found. Um, go back and get some of my stuff now. See, take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. This, this. Leave that there. Can leave that there too. Don't want the pressure plate. On both of these. Don't need the wool. Take the TNT. Take the steel. Okay. So I'll look and see what's inside these common bags. And we got a potion of instant damage. Okay. And a potion of palming. Oh, two potions of palming. Apparently they don't stack, so that that's that's fine. Uh we'll take the dimlet and we'll put the seeds there because hey, why not? Uh, doors we don't need. Okay, so that's all of that, and um, that's pretty much where I left everything. Um, I didn't do a lot else other than explore, do a bit of mining, which I've yet to show you the results of, but we did do some mining. Um, actually, I I do need to show you guys that, don't I? Okay. Well, first of all, I need to take these, because... Okay, so okay. one of the other things I... Uh, I did... Where's I went? I think it's up here? Yep. So I went in here, and I found some hardened clay on my travels. I got two cauldrons, which... I'm going to take some of them now.
A lot of bunch of food as you can see. Some maples. Um can I take that food? Down there. Take the cold nuggets. I don't really need the potions of harming at the moment. So I can take the maple trees and the hardened clay, because I don't know whether I'm needy or not. So yeah, that's alright. And uh, yeah, one of the things I uh, I found was this up here, which is really crap because you know it's it's golden. But you know, I just figured I'd show you. I did come up here and loot. And I'm going to take the rest of these bars because all well, these guys don't need them. There we go, 34 okay. of them. Oh, speaking of spiders. Hey, Mr. Spider, you want to mind dying? Thanks. Ooh, I didn't even notice this before. Look at that. I know about the underground guy, didn't know about the bees. Had to make us a scoop. So one of the other rooms that I haven't yet shown you guys is is the really cool room because I just kind of walked by it. All these patterns in here, okay, most of which I have. Actually, I have all of them. There's actually none there that I don't have because they're duplicated about, I don't know, six or seven times. So, yeah. Um, which is kind of annoying. Um, so there's the copper wire guard handle. we got a a flint cross. The obsidian sign head. I'm actually tempted just to make an obsidian sign head sign now, just There's because. There's stuff you know. in here, including this uh, bronze pickaxe head. Which I may actually use because that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Let's get on with this. Okay, so we want a uh, knife blade dagger. So we've got throwing knives, and we need a frying pan. This will allow us to cook some food, and that does not sound very nice. That looks like thumbcraft lightning, which is really creepy. Great. Can't rest because there's monsters nearby. Didn't I kill you once already? Is there really some ink in that tower? Damn you, I bet there is. Ooh, I didn't see this before, look at that. We have the uh, Thumb and Nomma Gum. Wait, wow, did I actually say it right? Work in progress, not 100% accurate. That's good to know. I'll actually take those. And a knowledge fragment. And a skull call. Hell, we'll take the chest too. Why not? We always need glowstone. Hey! Aw, oh, come on, I'm away, man. We're just gonna beat your brains in. Oh well, never mind. That would be why they. Ah, yes. Did you seriously spawn inside there with a the villager? 
That's crazy. I'm betting you used to be a guard or something, and now you insist on protecting said villagers. Let's make sure that doesn't happen again. I shall protect you, Mr. 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 Villager, by placing a torch inside your torture chamber. Hello, Mr. Guard. Um, hope you don't mind, sir, but I'm kind of taking refuge here. Okay. Good night. So, in actual fact, this is turning into a really, really long episode. So, I think I've actually shown you guys everything that I needed to show. Um, bit of a bit of messing around, so I may very well cut that out. But if not, I think I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to say farewell. And I will see you again for episode 6. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again soon.